Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We had a turning point, okay, last episode where Hinata really started to understand the nuances of the game, how you move, um, positioning, how to be stable, you know, more of the like ball control and finesse aspects that he has definitely been lacking in his play. So as the last episode was titled, he did have a new perspective and a change of perspective, I guess you could say. So this, that episode I think really was like the springboard for the rest of the season. So I'm really, really excited to see how Hinata, Kageyama in particular, develop for the rest of the season. Um, so today we are gonna be watching season four, episode four of Haikyuu called Take It Easy. Um, I'm assuming we're just gonna get better from here because as I said, yes to last episode, we're seeing some growth, some development, some change. So, and look at this grin, I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, so I can't wait to see what happens. So without any further ado, it is time for season four, episode four of Haikyuu. Take it easy. Oh, oh yes. Oh gosh, I've been so curious about this. <laughs> He's probably so scared. Oh, M G. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Who dressed up as Tsukushima and is being like nice and productive? You guys. <laughs> this is like the training that Suki got with Kuro and Bokuto and Lev and all of them in the season two training arc. And look at him paying it forward. Season three did so much more in Suki's evolution than we thought, okay? Look at him being a good teammate. I don't know if I ever expected this. Honestly, I kind of expected him to like take Hinata aside and just like rip on him or something, make fun of him. This is huge though. I'm very excited. <laughs> Yes. Sakuza, hello. Oremada video meet the nine ducado. Shiratoriza, Nan de Makedano. Bakatoshka, Fucho, that the market. The coach only be a mustard. Janan de Makenda, don't not its cutta. Dareka Wakatoshka, Tometa. Yes, his name is Sukshima. Yes. 
Alright, I have a lot of thoughts. Number one, Kageyama, we know he's a little socially awkward. So he, I don't think, he didn't mean anything by his comment. He is just being him, just brutally honest and to the point. And I don't think super good players who are used to being worshipped are used to that kind of just straightforward honesty, which was, I like to see it. I also don't really think Sakuza was meaning to be rude. I think he just respects um, Ushijima so much. So he just assumes that Ushijima playing at his best, like nobody should be able to beat him. So while initially I was like, dude, come on. Like Karasuno obviously played well. I really think it was more of a statement of his respect of Ushijima than disrespect to Karasuno. Um, and yeah, the team did manage to stop him. Everybody played a, ro a role in, you know, in that match and in stopping Ushijima and the rest of Shiratorozawa. Cause like, even though Ushijima is a huge part of that team and plays a big percentage of like scoring their points, like the t Shiratorozawa is solid and yeah. It just seems like Sakuza is a little insecure and wants to maintain his position at the top and doesn't want to feel threatened. Um, but again, I know absolutely nothing about him other than he has bouncy curly hair. So that is just my initial impression. <laughs> Ooh, elf. それにしても今回の合宿。やってることしたいがなんか不思議な感じだ。和志城先生も変わろうとしているんだと思います。でなきゃ、そもそも選抜合宿の話に乗ることもメインの指導を穴原先輩に任せることもなかったでしょうね。
look at Hinata training on the left side. <laughs> uh, no, you're just short. Shuki. Now he has a swagger and his confidence back. <laughs> oh, baby. He found that sliver of line. It's not up to you to decide. Suki! He is, he's a thinker. Um, although I do want to think that there's some part of him that wanted to give Hinata a chance. Um, I want to believe that he had some goodwill and wanted Hinata to have a chance to practice because he's just like collecting balls all the time. Um, Fun fact for you, I almost have said this a few times, but I knew if I used this terminology, you guys would probably be like, um, what? So in volleyball, when you are like running around collecting the balls that are on the ground, it's called shagging. You probably understand why I haven't just randomly dropped that term before. I felt like it needed some explanation. So if you do hear me say, oh, he's shagging balls, <laughs> It means he is going and picking up the balls that are on the ground. Okay, so um, also moving on, Suki's the man, okay? Like he is get, putting in the work because he knows that hitters are gonna be much more um, tactical, much more deceptive at national. So I love that he has like set up this little training scenario so that he can get a read on players and like work on that. Who ever thought that he would be the one creating training sessions so that he can like put in some extra work. Everybody's growing. That's called growth. It's the best. Oh, very specific. I like it. True. 
Nice tag. Oh. He looks like a dinosaur. His arms. Whoa, wow. Well, yeah, he kind of. Whoa. Got some. Broke the sound barrier. Made some lightning. Oof. Sakuza's gonna be panicking because of that guy, unless he already knows that guy, which he probably does. And also, he seems like a little bit of a bigger Hinata. Probably with more ball control and other skills, but I am referring to his jumping. Um, did anybody see him break the sound barrier on his jump? That's impressive. Um, also his arms look a little weird, but I will let it slide this time unless it becomes a pattern and then I'll talk about it more, obviously. Um, yeah, so I just love his hair. I love his look. I'm going to probably keep calling him an elf because honestly, for me, elves are the best. So I love it. <laughs> Um, and also, Kageyama, he's so awkward. I know I said this at the beginning, but like, he is trying and like, he's not a great communicator and he mostly just grunts or just looks mad or smiles in a creepy way. But like, oh, he's trying and I appreciate that so much because he's so cute. Um, hello? <laughs> oh gosh. Stop it. I play with one of you! No. Kageyama is completely desensitized to that type of attitude and behavior because of Hinata, okay? Who is literally the extreme of that. So of course he's not gonna be impressed because he's seen that before. Only his guy has red hair and not white hair. Okay? I'm getting Oikawa vibes from him. I don't need this negativity. I don't. <laughs> Have we got Oikawa 2.0 on our hands here? Because I don't like his voice. It's too slimy, it's too slippery. It's like, 
he thinks he's too good, which I hate that. And why are you picking a fight, dude? And you're a setter. So I'm getting too many similarities and they're rubbing me the wrong way. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, switching gears. Nice angle. Nice try. I'm a little bit surprised that Kunimi got invited to this. Um, he, sure, yes, he was playing opposite. He doesn't really get used all that often offensively. And then Mad Dog has been taking him out. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that Kunimi made the training camp. Um, he, as an opposite for Seijo, he isn't used all that often offensively. Like. He plays a pretty quiet role on that team, but then now with Mad Dog, he's been replaced a lot more often. So I'm actually shocked that he made it. I'm not sure what he's doing there, especially because, I mean, we've heard about his lack of effort before and how he doesn't really like to try because Kageyama played with him. So I'm not impressed with that choice. <gasps> Prediction. They're going to kick Kunimi out of the camp because he's not going to be trying hard enough and then Hinata is going to step in and take his place. You're not allowed to tip. Oh, 
相手をよく見てるって感じだでもなんだそれだけじゃなく余裕がある感じがするなって達成すげえ見てくれ<笑>自分がどんどん置いていかれる感覚プレーが雑になっていくのも自分でわかる2人しかいない中で精度の高い攻撃はなかなかできないだから相手をよく見て隙をつくそして俺は自分が好きだらけだと分かってる分かったところで足がついていくわけじゃないああ、poor guy。Honestly, two on two, you do have to be have all the skills because there are only two of you, so you need to be able to be pretty competent at everything. And so, it really does showcase weaknesses. I'm like this guy in a six on six situation. He is much better because his weaknesses can be hidden. But in this, it is designed for the full play, the well-rounded player. So I feel bad for him, <laughs> but it's part of it. And like, he has to learn and get better. And it, it is what it is. <laughs> Don't say that. Me too. Bakaka, so not a coit's <laughs> night, but I'm what there. Kyogo no regular day. Coconiru, coits to Tatakata go to Arias and Zenga. Coits of Kaka Stater. Or a mita in Nantonaku, Yunjanaku. Jibun the Erabarin Kurio Nayats. Yeah, yeah. Or a more elaborate by Yokota. じゃねここに呼ばれたやつは何かしらすごいやつらで百沢なんつってもでっけえだろうわーまあ確かに俺は影山がいないと若干若干な本領を発揮できないみたいなとこあるけどもとはいえ俺はでかいだけだおいおめえかーし Oh my gosh. No, he's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. I want to play you at your best. Yes, baby, gather that information. Oh my gosh, Hinata, it's true. He's like, I can't believe he actually thought he was chewing him out because I thought he was being nice to him too and trying to be encouraging. Aww. Hinata just has this way of like making everybody around him feel special, really good, important. I don't know. He just has this way about him. Maybe it's his enthusiastic talking, but like, I don't know, everybody just like feels like they're the best player when they're playing with him, except if you're Kageyama and then he's like just competing with you all the time. But I totally called at the end, like, why are you helping me? He's like, because I want to beat you. Like he wants to beat everybody and he wants them to be at their best. So like, I love that about him. 
Um, but yeah, the guy needed a pep talk. You're right, you can't control your height. You can work on everything else and try your best, but like, come on, don't give up. He's so cute, I love it. <clears throat> Oh, you can do it. Yes. Gosh, I have goosebumps. That's so true. I can't even tell you the number of times like when I'm playing with younger or less experienced players, the thing that I probably say most is let's slow it down, let's control the pace. Um, and that's not just like in between plays and taking your time. That is like if the play gets chaotic, don't match it. Like keep everything controlled and calm and slow. And like the fact that Hinata was able to observe that from Kunimi, just like in the two on two match to help the big guy whose name is very complicated. It's hard for me to say. So to help the big guy whose skills aren't as strong is like actually very observant and very kind. And just like the, to see his excitement for him for succeeding too is just so genuine and pure and just beautiful. Um, but that is something so important is like when things start to get ramped up, the intensity, the pace, the chaos, to just keep everything slow is like just something really simple you can do to like control everything else. Great job, Hinata. Maybe he'll be a coach later. Yet again, very premature on stopping that. Could have just kept it running for a couple more seconds, but I didn't, I got too excited. Um, is Kageyama feeling threatened by the blonde haired boy? giving Oikawa vibes. I'm thinking he's having bad flashbacks to junior high when Oikawa was like that. We will see. I think I feel a conflict brewing and you know I'm here for it. So a couple highlights in this episode. Number one, we just talked about it, the Hinata making the observation about slowing things down. 
Number two was Tsukushima organizing the after practice practice, um, including Hinata and picking up on some pointers that he really wants to work on. And three, seeing Kageyama's dynamic with all these new aces from the teams they're gonna play in nationals. Very exciting stuff. Um, okay, that was nice. I, I really enjoyed that episode. I would love to hear your thoughts, so be sure to hit me up in the comments below. Um, because you guys are full of the most interesting tips and insights and little factoids. So keep them coming, I love them. Um, as always, I would be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and continue hanging out as we watch season four of Haikyuu together because I am very sad that this season is moving, but I'm enjoying it. So I will see you guys next time. I love you. Have a good one.